to Jennifer Griffin at the Pentagon on where this stands right now. Jennifer. Neil, a somber briefing with very few answers and a defensive posture from the defense secretary and chairman of the Joint Chiefs, who said, now is not the time for after-action reports or discussion of regrets. The picture they painted was bleak and totally dependent on the Taliban. The bottom line is Afghans and Americans cannot get to the airport due to Taliban checkpoints. U.S. military planes are leaving half full due to bureaucratic bottlenecks at the airport. People are told their papers are not in order. And turned away from the airport. The defense secretary also spoke about the limits to U.S. forces on the ground and offered this frank admission. We don't have the capability to go out and collect up large uh, numbers of, of, uh, of people. The time frame of a rapid collapse, that was widely estimated and ranged from weeks to months and even years following our departure. There was nothing that I or anyone else saw that indicated a collapse of this army and this government in 11 days. We just received these photos from the Defense Department showing Marines arriving in Kabul and beginning evacuations. The 10th Mountain Division is seen here standing watch and helping with evacuations. But U.S. officials privately tell us it will be, quote, very challenging to meet President Biden's deadline of August 31st to fully evacuate U.S. citizens and their allies. There are still thousands of U.S. US troops flying into Kabul. There are images of the Taliban leader and future immediate Mullah Baradar, who the U.S. pressed Pakistan to release from prison in 2018, returning to Kandahar, apparently flown in on a Qatari C-17 military transport plane. He will now make his way to Kabul. But images of Taliban beating those trying to get to the airport, captured by photographers in Kabul, suggest otherwise. Sadistic scenes of Taliban uh, striking drivers with rubber hoses and firing weapons indiscriminately, targeting women who are not fully covered. The Taliban Taliban are carrying out a massive PR push right now to suggest that they are a kinder, gentler version of the Islamist terrorist group. There are 4,500 U.S. troops at the airport in Kabul right now, and now the very same specialized Air Force unit, the 621st Contingency Response Wing, the same unit that just closed down Bagram Air Base a month ago, is back securing the Kabul airport. The problem is the Taliban control all the checkpoints outside the airport. Neil. Yeah, they, they control all the levers of government and escape, I guess. Uh, Jennifer Griffin, thank you very, very much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.